Hey everybody, it's me. I just wanted to welcome everybody back. I know I've had a two-week absence from the Luke Papala show, but we got so much content today, so much plan. It is a double action-packed episode with my first guest host of the show, guest starring Ian O'Brien, or as everybody likes to call him, OB, for what was a hell of a conversation with a hell of a guy for a hell of an episode. I am so excited to get this out to you guys, and I know you're going to have a hell of a time as well. So, without further ado, here it is. All right. Good evening, OB. This is episode four of the Luke Papala Show. I'm your host, Luke Papala, shooter of shots, speaker of facts, and really, that that's it. You've so, been shooting your shot lately, haven't you? Oh, my gosh. On the, on the court and off the court, too. <laughs> I'm not down bad, but I'm pretty close. <laughs> anyway, I am proud to welcome my first guest on the Luke Papala Show, Ian O'Brien, or as everybody calls him, OB. Welcome, brother. How are you? Uh, you know what? I'm good. And so, People also call me by OB O'Brien, too. You know, I actually said that at ODs and thought I was going to get with a girl, and then her friend kind of... Uh, are we allowed to say cock blocked? I mean, I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's, you know, uh, I don't think that's like, you know, technically, you know, doing all the prompts that you said. But as I said, let's just say she blocked me. Darn. The friend blocked me. Forget with uh, possible her friend. She wanted to stay too, which I was like, oh, well. <laughs> I decided, you know, just take my L and go home and stuff like that. And it's important to do that sometimes. Sometimes you do have to leave the building. Just get out of the building, unfortunately. It's O'Donnell's. I mean, you're, you, it's hard to get out as it is for crying yeah. out loud. Well, it's hard to get in for me because I'm not even 21. Uh, but here's the thing. If you're a girl and stuff like that, and uh, Tim Chrissy, a uh, softball player, actually told me this. She got in basically with her YSU ID one time. So. Well, you just have to be cute for the security guard and they'll let you in. Why can't I be cute for the security guard? That's what I'm lie. saying. I think I'm cute. Look, I do squats and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I think I, I'm getting a little thick down yeah, there you from know. my squats. You, you know. know, exactly. So why can't I be cute for the, secu- for the security guard? I mean, yeah, he doesn't swing yeah. that way. I don't swing that way, but still. Yeah, hey, you know, the, and I bet you got a bigger butt than a lot of the girls you know. Oh, for sure. <laughs> they don't do squats like I do for crying out loud. Yeah. Hey. They, don't, they don't try and do 285 for like five and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. They're not putting in the work like you're putting uh, it like say i can say the same thing for you man yeah you know i mean, tell you what those football lifts definitely helped imagine me right yeah. now uh like this and stuff like that on reardon squad you that's know what, what i'm mean? saying you'd I, be laying out hits oh i would be laying out hits over here yeah <laughs> i wouldn't even be a kicker you could put me on anywhere exactly I'd be out hits right now put you at uh i'll put i'll play your position over here i mean yeah. wide receiver yeah tell you what i actually uh watched the old highlight of you guys against warren harding and I'm sorry for you. <laughs> well, 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 here's the thing, though. Someone called you Luke Pippola. I'm like, Pippola? Oh, they messed I'm, up my I'm, name I'm like, so many times, bro. I'm like, I, I, look, you're a broadcaster, you know what I mean? You learn pronunciations and stuff like that, but you basically, how can you, how is Papala? I don't, right? How, how is it a heart? Or just say his name's LP Money, like I call him. <laughs> I called your brother CP Money on the broadcast a couple times, too. He's the great value version of me. Great value version. <laughs> he won an award, actually, against that, uh, uh, what school was it? Uh, Summit. It Sisters was. of the Poor. Sis- <laughs> <laughs> Sisters of the Poor, yeah. That game was fun to broadcast. Let me just tell you that right yeah, now. Yeah, he was excited about it. I was proud of him, though. Yeah, he scored 100 points, and you know the other team scores 20. Yeah. At that point, you know, you just wish you had a color guy to talk about maybe some fancy football or something. Yeah, exactly. Something different to throw off the conversation, make it interesting. Or talk about online dating. Oh, my gosh. The <laughs> sinking ship that is online dating. It's really tough. So, what... W- to be to keep it PG, like I said, what are some of your experiences with online well, dating? Well, a couple of them were bad dates. First, uh, like the first time I was on Tinder, mm. and then you know I think maybe you know I I respect every party, but I, you know I go a little right, mm-hmm. and I just think you know Tinder banned me and stuff like that, and wouldn't let me get back on. So I used a fake number from one of those uh, you know site of uh, one of those apps. Why they ban you? I have no idea. I think the first time I did say some scum shit. I mean, you know, I say some scum shit sometimes. I mean, I mean don't we all? Yeah. No, no, you can say shit here. Oh, I can't? Yeah, oh my gosh. Just, oh, no, okay. just not the F word, that's okay, all. Okay, well, scum. Yeah. I'll say, I'll be a little peach. You say some scum stuff. Scum. How about that? Oh, okay. Well, I'm yeah. going to say scum shit. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> whatever, whatever you're comfortable yeah, with. Yeah, but, you know, I've said that. But then the second time, you know, I was just relaxed and stuff like that. I decided, you know, throw a couple numbers and the next thing I know, the next day, you know, I was... Close to basically 100 matches. You know, I don't get on it a lot, too, mm-hmm. because, you know, I want to look at the real world. You know what I mean? I don't exactly. want to be down bad on my phone, like, all yeah. the time. You know what I mean? Although it can be tempting to be it, down it can, bad on your phone. It can be tempting, but, you know, I want to, like, focus definitely on stuff that I like. And, mm-hmm. you know, usually Tinder could be, like, a one-hour thing. Yeah, right? exactly. You know what I mean? Back then, I would use it for, like, I'd be on that thing for, like, 
till bedtime almost. Really? <laughs> down bad. <laughs> down yeah, bad before. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, that's yeah. that's what I hear. Now, me personally, I've never gone on Tinder or. Bumble. Really? I thought about going on Christian Mingle. A little, I'm, just kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was farmers only. But <laughs> but you know, uh I typically what I do, and maybe it sounds like being a creep, uh, I'll see somebody on my Instagram feed, I'd be like, damn, her butt's kinda big. Or damn, you know, she's cute. But not in like yeah, no. Objectifying her. You know no, what I mean? And, and you know what you have to do? It's not about, you know, saying, wow, you're beautiful. Because I hear that stuff all the time. Yeah, you know and, what I mean? And, and yeah. most cases, they are. You want to look at their photos. You want to say, wow, you know, are you like an Ohio State fan? Like, if you see them wearing an Ohio State shirt, you know what I mean? Like, say, like, or a YSU fan. I'm going to the game this week. Mm-hmm. By the way, everyone, I cannot travel anymore because I am not vaccinated, so. What a shame. Well, what a shame indeed. But anyways, I'm just talking about it like that. It's, um... Also say, like, you're a Browns fan. Oh, you're a Browns fan. Cool. Or say, like, you know, it takes really good photography and so mm-hmm. They can be like, wow, those pictures are really good. You know, how mm-hmm. did you do those? I did those with a few girls. You know, I got a few numbers. And yeah. Sealed the deal, like, once. And, My guy. Yeah. Well, you know, a couple of times with Tinder, Bumble, but also with just DMing and screaming. I, that's the hardest way, though, you know, is the DM on Instagram rather than yeah. you know, Tinder and Bumble. Yeah. That's what I find. It, it is uh, very hard because oftentimes you can come off as a creep. Uh, what I do oftentimes... Like I said, I'll see somebody on my Instagram feed. Oh, shit. You know, whatever. Hit her up, DM her. And uh, basically all I say is snap with a question mark, right? <laughs> and getting the snap, I have like an 80% success rate with getting the snap. But then once we get on Snapchat, which for the older population, Snapchat is this uh, it's a social media platform. You send pictures back and forth. You could text while sending pictures. Exactly. Yeah, and you well, could can, FaceTime can you, call. Can you, can you already do that though, like on your iPhone? Can you already do that on Messenger and your phone? Yeah. And what, what's the difference? I, I mean, it gets your story where you're doing with your life. I mean, I post stuff every day about yeah. why I see football. Exactly. Matter, so. Basically, the pictures go away after a period of time once you click out, whatever. But Unless, unless someone screenshot them, shots them. Yes, but you do get a notification for everybody that doesn't know how Snapchat works when somebody screenshots. So, like, That's you true. know. But anyway, so after that, obviously, you try to get a streak. Yeah. And... Oh, when streaks. it comes to getting a streak, I'm well, like... Streaks are for the little people. Come on now. Those are for the babies. I don't do streaks. Well, you know what I do? I do basically, hey, we going out or are you running away? And sometimes they'll either leave me on open. Sometimes we'll be like, hey, we're going out. I'll be like, okay, I'll see you. I, I love that. That's very bold and very confident-esque. That's oh, yeah, great. You, you have to have confidence in the game. Oh, That's the exactly. Thing. My little my formula, I guess you could say, is I wait till we get a streak. I, I am a, I'm 20, so I am a child considered. Yeah, I'm 22. Exactly. You're, you're, <laughs> I'm you're an adult. A, you're a grown-ass man. I could go to the bars and have like 10 white claws if I wanted. Yeah, hey, there's no laws, like I, I hate, said. I hate beer, everyone, just letting you know, so that's why. Yeah, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a seltzer. It's alcohol. Exactly. Exactly. It's just flavored a little bit. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, so after I do that, I, I get the Snapchat streak. Once it uh, shows up as a streak, which is three or more days, Typically, I'll start to ask, you know, shoot my shot a little bit more. Like, what are we doing? Blah, blah, blah. I'll, uh, I'll woo-hoo, woo her with my words. Yeah, and either at the end, you're going to become Steph Curry or Dion Waiters. Exactly. And a lot of times, I become Dion Waiters. I'm, like, airballing from half court. But remember the quote that I said, I'd rather shoot over 30 than over 9. Exactly. Because over 9 means you stop shooting. Exactly. The more shots you shoot, the more likely it is that the, sh- yeah. the shot's going to go in. Yeah, and here's the thing about that, you know, you're going to miss a lot of shots, but you're also going to make some. And exactly. And makes ones, you know, you just got to play the game right, and then who knows, you're going to be at a hotel room or her place afterwards. Yeah, um, sharing a beer. Of course. At her, her hotel yeah. room. Yeah, oh, always. No. Or, or cooking her dinner is what you meant. Oh, of course. Of always. course. Of course. Oh, my always. gosh. Always. Watching a movie, though. I'll tell you what, those are the best ones. Those are the best. But the key is with that, I try not to, like, hang out her place first because I feel like that's kind of, like, off-putting in a way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to go out into the oh, world no, with her. Yeah. You know what I you mean? Know, first time is always best with a coffee date. You yeah. Know? I don't want her to, like, girls, think that I'm yeah. in it for the wrong reason. Yeah. And girls love coffee, too. Exactly. Women love coffee. So, you know, if you go to a Starbucks, then, you know, they're all obsessed with that. Yeah, that, that, that's unless they're serial killers. <laughs> that's immediately a win. Oh, yeah, and that, that, you know, that's another thing, too, is that, you know, they'll they don't like, you know, when you immediately want to hang out at their place because they think, oh, man, you know, this guy could be a killer. And it's the same thing for a girl. <laughs> or, or that may, that's probably true. <laughs> it's the same thing on both sides. Kind yeah, of. yeah. More so with men, however. Yeah. Know? But, like, I don't know. I, I feel like 
another thing that they'll be thinking is like, oh, he j- he's just doing it for like the wrong reason. Yeah. He just wants to come hang out, trying to make a pass at me. Yeah, and PG Rayden, of course, you know. Yeah. Uh, y- you guys have seen everything and stuff like that. Of course, you know, there's famous people like uh, JS, Johnny Sins. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. We, again, we're keeping it PG Rayden, yeah. so the initials are the yeah, ones that work Yeah, JS. That, that was good. I like how you that did that. That was good. All right. Or there's also some, uh, you know, celebrities, unfortunately – that have done horrible things to women, and w- with what we see in the news, you know, girls often, I would assume, become fearful when it comes to that. It's a scary world for girls. Yeah, speaking of which, what's Deshaun Watson doing right now? I don't know, dude. He has, like, 21 sexual assault allegations Why hasn't the time. media reported on it? I, I don't know. I, uh, that's a good question. But personally, dude... I think if you have that many allegations against you, you had to have done something. Yeah, and, you know, again, with that thing, yeah, I think some are definitely true, and, you know, I think you did that, but, you know, I don't think 21 are true, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, You you could disagree on that if you want. I just think, you know, he definitely did do some, but I just think others came in for the money, and we've seen that, too. You could could definitely uh, make that argument for a lot of cases like that. I mean, someone's trying to sue Will Chamberlain right now, but Will Chamberlain's been dead for how long since the 90s? Yeah, bro, he died in, like, 99, yeah, 99. Or something like that. So I mean, where are you gonna? You're not really gonna get much. Off yeah, of and he got around. He did get around. Oh my gosh. So did uh, what? Carl Malone, right? I don't know. Uh, JFK got around. JFK. Got JFK around. was sneaking women in through the back of the White House. <laughs> like he, he was. He even had like a, a stairway that he would just. And we of course all go to town. We all know about Bill Clinton. Oh, we do know about Bill Clinton. Of course, good old Bill. The sexual predator that is Bill Clinton. <laughs> uh, the famous speech. Hey, he didn't do it. Yeah, he didn't do it. Didn't exactly. Do it. Yeah, he, yeah, exactly. And, you know, Hillary's still there. You know, yeah. I mean, maybe that's just money also, but... Give her credit, though. She is a strong, supportive oh, wife. Oh, so strong. She is a warrior. Oh, so, so, such a great warrior, you know what I mean? Every, and people thought she was going to win and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Do you, look, she won the regular, she won the popular vote, so she's popular. Yeah, she is pretty popular, I will say that. I mean, I wonder if she's on Tinder, Hillary. Dude, I don't know. Maybe I... I might just create a Tinder account just for Hillary. Just for Hillary? Yeah. I think you should, honestly. Dude. I, I kind of want to go on a date with Hillary see what it would be like. It would be such a cool conversation, <laughs> too. Honestly, I, I don't, I'm not joking. I have a low-key, low-key, I have a thing for older women. Oh, same here, man. Dude, let me give you an example. This woman's like, I'd like to say she was like in her late 70s, early 80s. I was doing that uh, that small landscaping job today. Yeah. And it was hot. I was wearing a long sleeve shirt. I was digging like grass. Out oh, of, I was like, okay. Yeah. And she goes, oh, it's really hot out here. You sure you don't want to take your shirt off? <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? Oh, less. I didn't do it because I would have gotten poison ivy. That's because you're, you know, you're, you're, you're a respectful, respectful human being. That's and, why. And you know, I admire that position. I appreciate <laughs> it. I'll give you another example. So I was doing another job. This was last year. And we what we were doing is, um, it was Bo and I, and we were getting leaves. Bo, Bo Pelini. Bo Gray. Oh, yeah. Bo, I, I was going to say, Bo Pelini, what do you do landscaping with you? <laughs> oh God, God fire from LSU. So I, you know what? I know this LP money kid. I should just do some landscaping with him. Why not? <laughs> Hey, you know, he's he's a rich man. He is a rich man, that's true. But, yeah, but anyway, so it was me and Bo Gray. And we're taking uh, these leaves off of, like, the shore of this, this lake. Because the leaves, um, uh, let's see, it was over a span of, like, three years. They would just pile and pile up onto the shore. And this woman, I'm not going to name her name, but uh, lives right across from my grandpa. And it was just becoming too much, so she asked if we could do it. We said, sure. So I was the one who got in the lake, and I was scooping it out, and Bo was obviously scooping it out on the shore, too. So I had to give him my keys, obviously, before I went in, because I didn't want my keys to get wet, and I don't know if they wouldn't work, because, you know, I just don't know. So handed it to him. He put it somewhere. I didn't see where he put my keys. So he had to leave, because he's a manager for YSU basketball. So he had to leave probably after two hours. So it's just me. So I'm in the lake, whatever, doing my thing, cleaning up, being respectful. Yeah, of course, always respectful. I see this woman after, mm-hmm. and it was probably an hour before I got done, and she started telling me how, oh, you remind me of my late husband. <laughs> and she's talking about how there's a uh, there's a scholarship at YSU in his name, and she would love to, you know, yeah. put a good word in for me. And I was like, oh, that's so, that's so kind. Thank so you so sweet. much. Exactly. That's so sweet. And... Time passes on, and I, I get out, 
and I can't find my keys. And she's like, oh, okay. So she tried to help look for me, whatever. And she goes, do you want to come inside and, and have lunch? And I'm like, no, no, it's okay. I, uh, I ate before this, but thank you. I appreciate it. You're very kind. She's like, oh, no problem. So about half an hour goes on. And I still can't find my keys. And I'm like very muddy because from the waist down, I went into the lake and I've got all this muck. Disgusting it was a stuff. big landscaping day. That's for sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, a big it was day. large. I was yeah. there for like six hours. I put in the time. Oh, yeah. And the work. Exactly. Oh, and nice. I smelled like shit. Oh, it was terrible. I, I smelled awful. Matter of fact, every time I smell leaves, I think back to that time. It you know, just, it was, it's so distinct in my you, mind. Did you smell worse than uh, Kenny Porter's teeth? I don't know who Kenny Porter is. Kenny Porter's a guy, a legend, a young son icon downtown. You gotta give a shout out to Vince Morgan. That's his boy. Oh, I love Vince. Shout out. Hey, hey Drake is better than Kanye though. <laughs> I, I mean, prefer rappers who swear. Uh, but don't you see Vince? Don't you have Vince on Snapchat? I, I do. Yes. So do you see an old black tall male on his Snapchat? Uh, I think I might see him a couple glasses. Times, yeah. That's Kenny Porter. Right okay. Shout out to Kenny Porter. I yeah, guess he's a legend. I hope that he hears this. He gets girls, too. Okay, then. He there does. Go. Yeah, you know, he gets a lot of girls like him downtown and stuff like huh. that. So he gets around. But do the older women like him? I mean, hey, I saw one. So one six-year-old, when I was also doing my little Friday landscaping shop, told okay. me that um, at one point that, you know, she goes, oh, these two still party. I'm like, well, that's cool. Maybe, you know, we'll have to dance sometimes. She's like, yeah, I'll dance with you. And then I thought to myself, we could probably get, you know, maybe have a little hookup date between her and Kenny Porter. Yeah, put yeah. It, put them together yeah, on a date, see together. what happens. Yeah, see what happens. I think that would be really good, yeah, stuff like bro. that. Who knows? Maybe you could facilitate that. Maybe you could be his wingman. I could be his wingman. I'm pretty sure, you know, Kenny Porter has game. Really? He will re- need a really good wingman. There we go. Like me. Take the lessons from Jay Yano that I used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I didn't need a wingman in this scenario, though, going back to it. I'm going to finish up the story real quick before I yeah, forget. Right, right, right. So, uh, like I said, I'm all muddy. I, I smell like shit. I, I'm disgusting. She goes, ah, when you find your keys, you're going to get your car dirty. Do you want to come inside and, and shower? I was like, what? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> She's trying to shoot her show with me. What did she say? Exactly. And I had to say, excuse me? Yeah, you know, just to make sure I didn't make it up yeah. in my head. And she goes, yeah, yeah. Do you want to come inside and, and shower? And I was like, ah, I don't have any clothes. Kind of like dumbfounded, really, because you know she was trying to make a pass at me at eighty-one years old. I might add. Now she had the energy of a thirty-year-old. Oh my gosh, she's wonderful. I'll give. You, I'm not gonna say her name, but the point is, it, 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 she was she was great. And but I didn't have any clothes, and I wouldn't yeah, have gone in there anyway because I wasn't comfortable. Let's be honest. Yeah. And if this was if the roles were reversed. Ooh, would not be good. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good at all. You'd be on national news, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Or me as the girl would be on national news, you know, asking yeah. for a settlement. Yeah. You know what I mean? But anyway, getting finished with the story, because I feel like I've been rambling. <laughs> uh, I'm like, no, thank you, whatever. So I couldn't find my keys still. And she goes, well, you know, I could give you a ride. Because I said, I would mentioned to her that I have spare keys at home for my car, but I'd have to go home and I, I can't drive there. And she said, well, we could drive, I could drive you home. It's no big deal. And I was like, ah, no, thank you. Basically, how I resolved the story was I went to my grandparents' house. I was able to find my keys after. So I I walked over there, called my mom, and we figured it out. But dude. (laughs) Oh, she didn't call you back after that or what? You know, I have her number. We text here and there, but we don't. Yeah, it's just like, you know, you basically got friends on. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I didn't get friend zone. I, I kind of friend zone her in a way a couple mm, times. That's actually even better. I think. Yeah. My bro always tells always tells me friend zone the girls first, and you know I do that with a couple. Yeah. And they come, you know, they chase you back afterwards. You have to though, because you have to protect your heart. You have to sound. You have to make sure you're not too interested. Yeah. That and it sucks yeah. that you have to play the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, now I don't think it was like this. Maybe back in the eighties, we could ask our parents. Nah, they were definitely still like that, bro. They've always been like it, that. It's just different now with all the social media, you know, and yeah. like Tinder, Bumble. Yeah. Yeah. All that stuff. Snapchat. Instagram. Snapchat. Adult friend finder. <laughs> I've never heard of that. What's that? Oh, that's an old website. There's so many scams. Is on that, that like thing. Omegle? Like just an old website oh, that just oh, people don't probably. use anymore? Hey, tell you what. I've seen tits on Omegle before. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But, but of age. Of age. Of age. You gotta, you gotta put that in Of there. age. Yes. Of age. Boobs. All, all, yes. Boobs. Of age. Now, I have not, uh, 
people used to go on Omega all the time when we were little. I would honestly go on. I just went on as a troll. Yeah, exactly. Basically, I want to go troll people. That's why I do. Yeah, hey, you know, everybody's got to do their own thing. But, but, you know, sometimes you turn on the camera and you see stuff right there. Yeah, and, that's why I don't go on Omega. It, it, like, you got some creepy dudes over there. Yeah, creepy dudes, stuff like that. But, you know, when, that girl, when a girl all of a sudden does that random stuff, you're like, I mean. Okay. Yeah. All right, we are going to take a quick break and uh, give time to our sponsor. We will be right back. Take a listen. All right, we are back. Let's go. Yeah. Finally. We're yeah. Back. It's been uh it's been a pretty good experience so far. How, what would you say? I think yeah. it has been. We've been having a really good conversation. I think so too. And I, I was so excited to get here. Yeah, bro. So your dating experiences though, we never really hammered down on it. Now obviously we gotta keep it PG, right? Yeah. My great grandmother is listening. I love you, Gigi. But yeah, grandma <laughs> grandpa uh, grandma is uh what G P Muddy. That's, that's a cheapy money right there. Yeah, listening. she's awesome. She's been a little bit under the weather the past couple of days. She had a cold, but she's fine. Non COVID. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. non COVID. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's cool. She's cool. She's very healthy. Yeah. Also, shout out to Aunt Diana. They're both listening to it uh, together. Love you as well. Anyway, <clears throat> but your dating experiences. What what is something? Give me your worst and give me your best while also keeping it PG. Well, okay, one of my best, you know, was you know, well, it's probably my first dating experience, honestly. And it was one of my first, you know, getting a coffee and stuff like that. And, you know, you go back to her place and watch a movie and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, cuddle. That's always the best thing right there. And I used a little bit of game that my brother taught me. Okay. You know, I was always insecure. You you know, you can see here, I shaved my head for a reason. You know what I mean? you pull off the bald look, dude. You really do. You know, I really do. And some people say I look like Sean Sean Evans. Other people say I look like Johnny Sins. You know what I mean? You can put it either way. (laughs) I think I'm just looking at you right now. And you pull, uh, it's like picture perfect, bro. You pull off the hat, too. Uh, you could go yeah. backwards. You could go frontwards. You like, know, I can't pull off this the This hat, hat, you can't really do backwards much. I know we're getting a little off topic over here. But no, this no, hat, no. You, you can't really. I have my other black hat somewhere where it's, like, more tighter. So, like, yeah. you don't see a whole spot. But yeah. I can't find it anywhere. It's all good. I don't know where it's been. It I, doesn't matter. I used this, honestly, for last week when, you know, we played. When we had that tough loss against Western Illinois. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, dude. Had to get booted up right there. Had to get all dressed up for it. Yeah. And, you know. How about I've been getting into sports betting? I know we are getting a little bit off topic, but who cares? That's what that's what the conversation yeah, has brought us to. Dude, I've been doing sports betting for a while, and it's oh. either I take a dub or I take an L. I'm I'm three and zero. I'm I'm a baby, right? In the sports yeah. betting, I bet the over in points when YSU played. Who was that? Western Illinois. Mm, tough. It was a tough scene. And obviously, I hit the over, yeah, and I won a hundred bucks. The, yeah, you you could bet on that game. I can't bet yeah, on that bro. game, you know, because I work for the team. Yeah, so. I, know, I know what you mean. It's like it's like a moral code that you yeah, gotta follow. It's, it's I get moral it. Moral code. But I know a lot of degenerates, mm-hmm. like degenerate gamblers. A lot of my friends are degenerate degenerate gamblers. Why can't I talk? Let me guess. Barquette, Kafaro. I'm not gonna say any names. Yeah. Not those two that I was thinking of, but I'm not gonna name drop anybody. Shout anyway, to, shout out to them though. You know, they're good. Yeah, people. shout out to the boys. Coach Barquette, of course. And his father, an absolute legend. He's great. He's a great. Legend. That's for sure. Yeah. But anyway, I, I just don't want to turn into a degenerate gambler. So, but your dating experience. So that, so that was the best? Yeah. Well, yeah, there's some, you know, that was, of course, one of the best. Yeah, uh, definitely. Of course, you know, I've also, you know, done, you know, PG stuff. Of course, you got to keep it PG. But, you know, I've mm-hmm. the girls' houses, you know, I, you know, I mean, had some, you know, good time with them, you know, hung out a little bit with their friends. Of course. You're talking about, like, yeah. S- yeah. sitting down, yeah, reading sitting scripture, down, verses, scripture verses and cooking for them. I brought the Bible over for crying out loud. There you go. There exactly. you go. If you bring the Bible over, that's all that matters. You're blessed. Of course. Yeah. We're all blessed over here. Exactly. God made us for a reason. Exactly. But then, you know, uh, one of my worst was kind of like a couple of weeks ago, honestly, in this oh, one. Boy. You know, I mean, and. Honestly, my I guess the one with my ex was kind of worse too, a little oh bit. Boy. But like at the end of that relationship, but this one was pretty much as bad too. You know what I mean? And you know, again, I don't race discriminate or anything like that. But I'm gonna, you know, say something. It's not gonna be anything offensive, Almighty. But you know, she. I'm here for it. Okay, so basically, you know, I'm matched with this girl in Bumble. Okay. You know what I mean? She was all right. I wouldn't say as struck to my ex, but still not bad. You know what I mean? And. You know, made her laugh a few times, hit her up, and basically, you know, helped me a little bit with math and stuff like that, because okay. she's really smart. She was a sweetheart. Yeah, basically, you know, nursing school and stuff oh, like wow. that. So, I imagine, you know, she basically, you know, that's rich right there. I'm yeah. trying to get rich, of course, you know what I mean? Exactly. From doing all the stuff that I do. Nothing wrong with being a house husband. Oh, uh, not even that. I mean, I ain't no Christian Ponder. I'm still going to be out there, you know, doing what I love to do and stuff like that and make money. Yeah, e- exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? And basically, you know course had a great time and so we got first night apparently one of her friends actually knew a lot of the people that like 
worked at uh, Bellaria and stuff like that. Huh. She works too. Isn't that weird about this area, dude? Everybody knows everybody. It's a good and a bad thing. I've been running into that shit a lot. You can't hit up two girls without them being like somewhat of friends in yeah. this area, bro. S- somewhat of, yeah. Yeah. And then they know people that you know. So if you mess up, they might snitch and tell yeah. all these other cats, you know what I mean? It's a good thing that I don't care about messing up, though. I mean, I kind of, <laughs> look, I did, the other day, did that the other day, kind of, and, like, you know, some girl basically, this is a little off target, but, like, you know, got her number, stuff like that. Obviously, you know, she thought I was attractive, but she knew some other girl that I kind of, like, you know, broke off with. Isn't that like a that. shame? It, it didn't want to really have been, you know, that's, mm. you know what I mean? It's tough, the, tough scene. The ultimate flex. And I've got a bunch of bucket list stuff. <clears throat> that I've either completed or want to complete. But something that's it's so satisfying is you break up with an ex, you get with the best friend. The or, or in my case, get with her sister. Her sister. Oh. oh. See, I've never done that. <laughs> I don't know if I could pull that off. Whether it's just a date, you, you go to the movie, stuff like that, or you go over her house, you watch a movie, you have dinner, whatever, something like that. Or obviously keeping it PG once again, but you know, yeah, yeah, but yeah, the next yeah. step. But yeah, the personally, step. that's never been me. But I've always thought that's like the ultimate flex, the ultimate like sign of toxicity. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, you're like, you're that dude. If you but can you know, get with the yeah, get, be know, with the best the best friend, or like you said, the sister dude. Yeah. You know, LP money. We're in a world now where toxicity is like the number one key. You gotta be toxic. And it's a know. shame though. You know, you gotta again, play the game. Again, that's social media and stuff like that for you. I think that's kind of played a big part in where mm-hmm. we are as well you know what i mean yeah and you know i'm of course both sides you know where i stand and of course in political uh thing you know what i think about it but i'm not gonna say it over here i'm not uh-huh. gonna really you know do all that because you have your own opinion you know that's yeah. the best part yeah. you know, that we should all have over here in america exactly but no going back to it you know and we, she knew some people so like i we had a good time first night and it, you know her or, you know we we kind of yeah you know what i mean but yeah then, Left stuff like that, and uh, the friends she told me the other day, like, the friends thought I stayed over, so like, they actually snuck a hanger first, like, <laughs> through the door because they thought I slept over and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, there's some weirdos, I know, something like that, yeah, because they didn't want to interrupt or whatever. But then I go to the next night, it's like, okay, you know, we FaceTime a little bit after that, but then it's like, you know, it's she don't text back for a while, and she's like, hey, what was that link to uh, Monday Night Football because she's a big football fan, yeah. like, I am a big sports fan, I didn't even send anything, I'm like, you didn't get back to me a bunch, so yeah. You know, I, I maybe I got a little too. You're a little bit too cold. I, I was a little, I was a little bit too well not cold on that. But I mean, I think I was a little too clingy right there. I showed showing a little less interest and in yeah. stuff like that. And you know, her personality got the best of me. Is the thing. That's a shame. And basically, she said afterwards, you know, you're not my type anymore. You know, and again, again, this is the quote. And you know, I'm not racist or anything like that. Don't get that wrong. You know, I love every single race. But if you, this is a black woman you're talking to, right? No, no, white oh, woman. Oh. She basically said, if Oops. you ain't black, you're not going back. No! Yep. She did that to you? Yeah, man. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> but hold on, but hold on, but hold on. So, so, but you're white and you, you like, you hung out with her and shit. Yeah, yeah. And, but you know, then we she curved you, here. but she curved you because she said you weren't, you weren't black. Because I guess she won with, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. with someone that was that skin color. Right. It, it, who cares about that? But really? Yeah. Hey, but you know what? I yeah, ended at the end of the day, right? So that's yeah, like, exactly. all that matters right exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. That's all matters The situation right is behind you. Yeah. Maybe you did come off too clingy. but I did. But it's you know. such a shame, though. Social media accentuates all these emotions. Like, for example, my situation. I've had plenty of girls, and I talked about this for a minute on the podcast, but not, like, for an extended period of time, have catfished me. Mm. And it's a shame. Really? You have all these girls that want to look a certain way. And yeah. dudes, I would imagine, but, like, we're not trying to, like, it's not that you way. Know, the thing is, all we got to do, really, is, like, you know, you can pull off, as you said, I could pull off a shaved head bald. Like, you pull yeah. off just, you know, curly hair and stuff like that. And, you know, all we got to do is, like, put on deodorant and dress well. But for girls, you know, you know, they got to put on makeup. Yeah. It is where they complain definitely about guys' looks, but, like, they're the ones that have to, like, you know, look good yeah. and stuff. Yeah. They have to put more effort into their looks exactly. than we do. And I give them a lot of credit because women deal with so much more pressure than yeah. men. Oh, yeah. Women out there, if you're a single mom, 
I love you. If you're a single girl in general, over 18, you can't be... Yeah, you can't, you, you can't be under. Yeah, you yeah. Under. And I, you have to at least be in college, too. Yeah, That's li- you my, have my, to be in college. Exactly. My rule is that you can't be two years younger than me. I cut it off at a year younger if than you me. If you just turn 18, it doesn't count. You are still a child. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking at, you know, to date, go on dates with 19 and above right now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, bro. 18 only if they're in college. Only if they're in college. That, that, me personally, that's not my rule, yeah, but whatever whatever, yeah, whatever you say. As long as they're in college, I'm fine with it. Now, if you're not in college, nah. I'm picky, though, as you're about to learn. Yeah. So, so many girls, like I said, they deal with the pressure of social media, right, and having to look good, which is such a shame. It, that it shouldn't be like that. There's a lot more we could dive into when it comes to that subject, but oftentimes... What happens, what results with all this toxicity and dealing with all this pressure is they'll make themselves look a certain way on social media. And then in real life, they they look different. It, it, it's like they pull off the ultimate yeah. magic trick. And I think girls don't realize what the difference with nice guys and nice guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Quote, unquote, he, he said. He put the quotes in there yeah. for the second so, nice So guy. basically, you know, someone like that is pretending to be nice while really, you know, they're basically – Assholes. Yeah, yeah, at the same... Yeah, and stuff like that. But yeah, girls also go for the assholes that are toxic. And I mean, here's the difference with that. When you're like the nice guy, you know, you're clingy too much and you basically want to send her flowers all the darn time. Mm-hmm. And you basically want to make her, you know, you want to be the white knight. And no, you, you know, I mean, you can't do that. In fact, you got to have a little bit of toxicity in there. I'm not saying be a total douche. I'm not saying yeah. that. I'm not saying be a total douche because that honestly, if you're a total douche, no one's going to like you. Yeah. That, that's just a fact. But you got to have boundaries. Exactly. You know I mean? And once again, it's a shame that <clears throat> we have to play this game yeah. in the 21st century. Yeah, especially when the guy has to come off for first. Like today on Bumble 2, I'm actually with a decent looking girl. And, you know, she basically said, uh, I did like this number pickup line that I saw on TikTok. Apparently she saw it, but she gave me her number. That I'm like, oh, you know, well, mine's, three, mine's, you know, my number. I nearly just said it right there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah. You, all those women out there, if I did uh, actually leak it, you guys, you girls could just text me and stuff like that. Exactly. As long as you're over, as long as you're 18 and college and over, that's all that matters right there. Yeah, no, me personally, like I said, my cutoff is a year younger than me, but it's what, whatever, you know, you feel it comfortable with. It is what with. it is. Yeah, exactly. It is what it is. You know, you do have to be ballsy, though, sometimes. I'll give you an example of how I was ballsy. Right, and my it. shot low-key went in. Mm-hmm. This was last night. And, yeah. uh... I'm not like a big screw. I'm a loser. I play <laughs> a rec flag football game last night, and there was this girl who was a ref, yeah. and she was a blonde. And, and I, th- I think I know who you're talking about. She actually was friends Lauren? with the girl that kind of played me. Lauren. I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was her. I thought you were not gonna name drop, anyways. But well, she she doesn't listen to this. I don't know she, it's not her last name. I, oh, okay. I, I say first I names. I don't know if it was her, but there was some blonde girl that also played a uh, flag football with the girl that I hung out with the like huh. last week, stuff like that. Well, this girl is a ref. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Blonde, my type. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, she's attractive. Yeah. Um, So we're playing. We get to the fourth quarter, right? I'm lined up at receiver. Oh, your old position over <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Right on the outside. Didn't get the ball thrown to me. I only got it thrown to me like twice, but whatever. That's not Did the point. Did you tell them you played for Ursuline High School for crying out loud? Did you tell them you were a star receiver on Ursuline? I wasn't a star. I was yeah. the decoy, let's be honest. Okay. But whatever. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> Actually, on the on Reardon's team right now, dude, you'd be pulling up Dean Boy numbers over here. Yeah, who knows? Probably not. Dean is way better than me. Anyway, getting back to the yeah. point, um, we're about to lose. And I said, listen, if we win, we're going on a date, right? Ooh. And she goes, no, not at all. Oh. I was like, oh, really? And she kind of said it like kind of like sarcastically, you could tell. But at the same time, I was getting rejected. Yeah. So whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the game ended. We ended up losing. But I went up to her when she was refing the, the second game after us. And I was like, listen, like, where did I, where'd I go wrong? You know what I mean? I'm trying to be better for the next girl. Yeah, but also, yeah, exactly. Oh, you said better for the next girl. So well, or, or whatever. I'm, okay, no, that, that's actually a good point right there. Because if you just said, oh, what did I do wrong right there? You know, I'm sorry. That's coming up as basically you're down bad at that point. And yeah. You, you and, are the and, nice no, guy. So. But I was down bad. I was. and <laughs> But I wanted to know, seriously, what have I done wrong for the next, you know, to prepare me for the next time I shoot my shot? And she's like, I have a boyfriend. And I was like, oh. Oh, okay. See, and they play that game sometimes. Okay, yeah. Too. And I said, well, if it ends, and I didn't want to come off as too much of a dick, I said, if it ends, just know, like, I'm, I'm the guy to call. You know what I mean? I'm here for you. And she goes, oh, okay, whatever. Ha ha, laughs it off. <clears throat> My friend go- had gone up to her before me and was talking to her and said she didn't have a boyfriend. 
and told me this. It was like clowning on me. And I was like, okay, I got to go back. And I was like, so, excuse me. And she turned around and we started talking. I was like, I don't want to come up. I feel like I'm coming up on like borderline creepy asking you this. But like my friend over there told me you had a boyfriend or you didn't have a boyfriend, but you told me that you have a boyfriend. So like, what's up? And she's like, no, 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 I, ha- I have a boyfriend. <laughs> and I was like, well, what, what's your major? And she was like, what's yours? And I was like, no, no, what, what's your major? And she said, oh, I'm pre-med. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm pre-med too. And oh. I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm not pre-med. <laughs> I'm a business major. I'm, I'm an idiot business uh, Again, major. that's part of the toxicity, though. You got to lie a little bit. That's well, th- this was a sarcastic yeah, lie. Yeah, like, she could yeah, tell. Yeah. But... So I say, yeah, I'm pre-med too. Listen, um, if I ever need like homework questions or like help with my homework, I'm going to need your Snapchat for school purposes. <laughs> and you know what? She gave it to me. Mm. She's like, what classes do you have? I'm like, what classes do you have? And you know, she told me, I was like, me too. I just haven't been showing up. So got her Snapchat and she could obviously tell I was yeah. like being sarcastic, but I was like, you really don't want to go on a date? She's like, no, no, I have a boyfriend. She turned around. She's like, you're cute, though. I was like, oh, bad. Yeah, and so you basically you, turn, you flip-flopped it in a way, and that's mm-hmm. the thing. And so many guys, you know, they give up after they hear, oh, I have a boyfriend. They're like, okay, that's whatever. They hang their heads <laughs> low. No, yeah. you know, you still got to play the game somehow. You know, my bro did that with the girl, of course, you know, that lives with him now. You know, they have a kid and stuff like that. Oh, oh shit. Little, okay. little niece, little okay. Olivia. Okay. Cute, cute, cute niece on her. Okay, cool. Tell you that. There we go. But, Basically, you know, played the game a little bit kind of like that, you know. She was dating someone else and, you know, asked for coffee. He actually got rejected by her. And the next thing you know, flip-flopped. Yeah. You know, he goes, hangs out with a bunch of other women. And, you know, she doesn't like the other guy anymore because, you know, it's just being a douche. Isn't that such a shame, though, once again, that we have to play the game? Exactly. Why can't we all just be like, up front? He, he, it's so easy for him, though. Like, you know what I mean? Compared to, like, and some all the guys I think went up to me before, like, you know, how are you going with women? Like, buddy, I suck with women. Come yeah, on, we all I, suck. <laughs> Yeah, I suck with women. What do you What do you mean? My relationship was like two months for crying out loud, something yeah. like that. I'll never understand the female mind. <laughs> and I'm sure that women will never understand the male yeah, mind. Exactly. I say women, not girls. Yeah, women. Because, Always women. Because girls are... There's a difference, too. Yeah, I feel like it's a certain element of respect. You definitely, know what I mean? Definitely. ODs, would you call them women or would you call them girls? I mean, I haven't been let into ODs. So I wouldn't know. You never went to ODs. I, I, I've went. You've went. Actually, two weeks ago or a week ago. Whatever. I think it was last week. Did they get, they caught your ID? No. I, I My friends were going in. My friends are over 21, obviously. Uh, Christoph and Pat, shout out to you both. <laughs> and I get it to the security guard. I get to the door. I hand him my ID before he asks me. I'm confident yeah. with it. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm faking it till I make it, trying to look the oldest I possibly can look. <laughs> with a beard and all that and i'm literally right there right i'm right there i'm about to go in he's about to let me in he goes uh you were born 2001 yeah you can't you can't come in i was like damn it (laughs) so they they all come back out that's when they say go to republic (laughs) yeah but republic isn't the same quality yeah exactly it's not the same their pizza is a one though they say go to the social Oh, R.I.P. Yeah, to the R. social. To the Listen, social. every time I went to the social, it sucked. Look, here's the thing. I went with Ryan Marshall before to the social. This is like back in March when we just lost to Northern Iowa at that time, 27 nothing during the spring season. But I go in, and the dude's like, go to your ID. He's like, are you really 22? Are you really 22? I'm like, dude, I look like I'm 30 sometimes. So I'm crying <laughs> out loud. I have, the, I'm still, I have the beard. It was even hairier than this yeah. over here. I'm like, Ryan looks like he's... 15 years old for crying out loud. Ryan Marshall looks like he's 15, and you're saying over here that I don't look 21. Like, are, what are you smoking right now? Because I want whatever you are smoking, and yeah. I want to just blow it right in your face for crying out loud. The smoke. The, yeah, the, yeah, 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 the smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you think I meant? I don't know. You no, don't know no, how I'll, people on, people no, listening I'll, here are I'll, crazy. I'll the smoke. Yeah, Some definitely. people think the wrong thing. Anyway, though, um... We're about to close out uh, our podcast. Anything else that you want to talk about real quick? Well, I mean, you know, besides that, you know, RP to the social, that's what happens, you know, when you have girls and they're not women. It was so trashy, though. It, it was so trashy, indeed. No, I'm, but downtown, dude, I've been, I went downtown East Lansing. I actually got with a girl there, too, and stuff like that. Downtown. You went on a date? On a date, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and talked to a girl there and stuff like that, you know what I mean? 
at East Lansing, uh, they basically snuck, uh, snuck me out over here. Really? Chris Metz. Huh. Shout to him. Shout to Mo and Albert. They all snuck me out. I didn't even want to go out. But, you know, it was so much different. It was a better environment, honestly, than downtown Youngstown. It's just... Obviously. Yeah. It, a lot of these places were, like, bigger and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's weird, too, because I thought it would be super COVID-restricted and stuff, but it wasn't. Michigan, yeah. It, yeah, it's so weird, too. But, you know, college towns. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Um, I guess we close out by uh, the fantasy football. Good news about there. Good news about that. I'm no longer projected to finish last. My guy. Yeah, uh, 11th, not 12th there as we of go. now. <clears throat> oh, now I'm back to 12th, unfortunately. Oh, damn. Oh, man. I'm back to 12th. It said I was back to 11th, but you know what? These things always mess up for crying out I'm not even last right now. The one who's last is shout to Mike Jones, or I just call him Grandma Jones for whatever reason. He <laughs> went to my uh, old blog talk radio show like that. But, you know, <laughs> that the Roadway Inn Motel is basically his name, and he's 0-3. Oh. Yeah, I'm 1-2 and 2 right now. And, you know, I just need to maybe win this week if all my guys balled out like they did yeah. last week, and I think we'll be good. But the loser, whoever comes to last, has to stay in the motel by Station Square. Which is a very crappy hotel, I might add. Very crappy. And apparently there's, like, you know, you, it smells like cigarettes. You know yeah. What I mean? You can't really breathe in there much, so. You might wake up without a leg because the roaches just ate you alive. <laughs> yeah, you might see Kenny Porter or any other homeless person in there. All these people that he's name-dropping, by the way, are older than me, and I just, they don't talk to me because they're older than me. OB, I, I know OB here. He, he graduated two years ahead of me. We both went to the same high school. Both played football on the same team. We yeah. did both play football on the same team. I was a sophomore. He was a senior. He was the kicker. I obviously didn't play at all because uh, I was a sophomore. I think I played special teams or something like that. But Mostly your junior season it was that he played 2017, 2018. Yeah, yeah, junior and senior year I played, but whatever. Um, but he's name-dropping all these people that like I always like – looked up to you could say as like a lower classman but never like talked to so but I mean, look i ran a i ran a poll all right kenny porter got more votes than jim trestle on twitter for crying out loud for being a young son icon so well yeah jim trestle sits in there in that big house but kenny porter is just a legend i mean you see him going out dancing all the time <laughs> i'd love to meet him you might you know if you somehow get to downtown again you could probably meet kenny porter he's around the area yeah all right i'll have to do that oh you will have to do that for sure but hey this is definitely a great podcast let me just tell you this right now I this man this you. man's going far and stuff you were the first one that hit me up and asked if you could be on the podcast so oh, dude, I do obviously that. you gotta be the first one yeah dude i do that for everyone i hit people up all the time seeing if i could be on their podcast yeah might be on this other one actually that's actually with why i where i work and, okay you know, these students i know good friends of mine they run it they're in the same major as i am so i might be on there possibly soon you know we'll have to see uh what happens maybe tomorrow before i have to go to st Fitz and st mary high school to broadcast the irish versus st fees the home of lebron james the home of lebron james that is true the lebron james of facility i think it's called or something like that that they have there yeah the yeah yeah the arena mm-hmm. i should say which is really i haven't seen it but i've seen pics it's pretty nice yeah i'll tell that right now but i know and, yes, if you were wondering, yes, I was supposed to travel with YSU this week, and I was supposed to get some Nike gear, too. Maybe I'll get a little Nike thing tomorrow. Maybe that's a little tease, but I was supposed to get more Nike stuff. But they said, if you want to travel as a student worker, you got to be fully vaccinated. I think we'll leave it off right there. All right, <laughs> Ian O'Brien, OB, my first guest. I appreciate And, again, nothing, wrong, nothing wrong with that. Just saying, <laughs> just, just saying I... I'm still waiting. That's all. Yeah, I got you. The process. There's nothing wrong with discernment. Nothing wrong with just waiting a little bit longer. Exactly. You know I mean? Nothing wrong with that. But all right, bro. I appreciate of you course, being on this anytime, podcast, anytime. and you'll definitely be welcome back for oh, sure. Of course, that was a great time, and you know, you had someone to have conversation with. Us. Exactly. So like definitely. You know, because I do pro- podcasts sometimes, it feels like you're just talking to yourself. A yeah, times, rambling right? like an idiot, which yeah. I, I do a lot. Yeah, but here we actually had a good conversation. And it feels, I think it was more polished. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. Polished, definitely. All right, bro. I appreciate having you on. Oh, Thank of you, course, brother. anytime. All right. Goodbye, everybody.